what's up guys how you doing i hope you guys are doing good because i'm doing amazing you guys today is my father's birthday everybody's excited and he's around um i'm taking him to the hospital for checkup just general checkup nothing serious but yeah i already have his cake and wine here we're just going to you know prepare something in the afternoon for lunch just something nice i think i hope because <laughs> I'm, I'm smelling beans it's like it's like cooking beans because we have beans today on the menu i think it's already cooking beans well we'll try, try and make the beans special maybe i'll add some other things to it but yeah um so today today is my father's birthday i'm so excited but we're taking him i'm taking him to the clinic very soon so once i take him to the clinic i'll come back and you know just continue doing some things that i'm doing because today is a saturday so i still have a little bit of work to do today but yeah uh, once i do that i'll come back but how are you guys doing how's how is uh, christmas going are you guys feeling the christmas vibes are you are you feeling the christmas spirit personally i'm not really feeling anything i don't know is it because things are hard is it because i don't know i don't know what it is yesterday i went to buy fuel and i filled up my tank i was feeling like eh, odogu. <laughs> i was feeling like big money spender you know and i was just amazed at how empty the the filling station was like the filling station was so empty i was like ah even the roads everywhere is not really so i'm not really hearing of people that are traveling you know and stuff like that then my kids went to make their hair i don't know if i i, I, I don't think i filmed it though i just filmed some instagram clips maybe i'll put it here and here and here but you'll see my kids here everybody has made their hair me i made this hair because i want to wear my wig okay every time i set out in the, with the mindset that i'm going to braid my hair but when i get to the salon and i just they start pulling attachment i'm like you know what i give up <laughs> i just just do my hair like this because me and attachment were not friends i've told you guys several times about it me and attachment were not friends because my scalp is very sensitive so when they now pull my scalp to be adding attachment and doing everything plus the weight Two days after my scalp will get inflamed, everything will turn white. It will look like I have a serious case of dandruff, which it is not okay. Like my scalp can be as clean as possible, but everything will just my scalp will just lift off. You just lift up. You just see white white stuff on my scalp. So I'm like, no, I'm not in the right frame of mind to do that now. So that's why I just did my hair like this. But yeah, my kids, everybody braided, even Sophia. Sophia got her first braids ever, and I was like, wow, she actually stayed for her braids. This thing is just a matter of age, yeah, because. Sophia, before now, if you even draw an attachment near Sophia and one touches her body like this, eh, she will scream because she hates, she hated attachment. She hated the feel of attachment. Even I remember one time they tried to make her hair. Just one, they tried to add attachment to so this girl, screamed and shouted and cried, cried. We had to remove it. But this time she stayed like a big girl, even though it's wool we made for her. But you know, either way, it's still like a big girl. So I'm happy about it. I've talked too much. Anyway, you guys, um, I want to just have my breakfast now, then carry my dad to the hospital. And then after that, I would um, see you guys okay? I told you guys earlier but i actually went to remove some skin tags from my face i used to have a lot of skin tags i also have a lot of breath marks i don't know if you guys can see things like this i have a lot of it and then i had skin tags as well so i went to remove the skin tags that's why these places look lighter they basically burnt all the skin tags out and what is left is just my breath marks uh yeah it was a little bit painful even though I was told it won't be painful, but it was a little bit painful. <laughs> they used numbing cream and stuff, but still it was paining me. I think they used laser or something to burn it off. But yeah, so my face is skin tag free for now. There were some here that she wanted to remove. I was like, mm, bam, bam, bam. The skin on my forehead is quite thin. So I don't even like doing too much on my forehead. So when she wanted to remove it, I was like, see, if I can feel this kind of pain here, please leave my forehead. But yeah. I'm done. I went to my friend's spa, Dream Day Spa on Transamaji Road. I've talked about the spa several times. You guys go and patronize her. If you're looking for a very good, clean, nice, aesthetically pleasing, good spa, then please go and check out Dream Day Spa. They do a lot of procedures there, like facials, massage, things like this, removing of skin tag, you know, skin consultation and stuff like that, they do it there. Then she also sells products. If you watch my skincare video, I think I did that video, was it not last year or when? I talked about this Rejuva. 
That's how I'm doing free adverts for these people. Anyway, I talked about this Rejuva and basically, after I talked about this Rejuva, I got lots of questions about it. But unfortunately, on the, the company's Instagram page, they did not have it. I've never bought from their Instagram page anyway. Before, I used to buy from uh, Shop with Tika, but Shop with Tika doesn't have it and she's not had it for a very long time. But at Dream Day Spa, this my friend was telling me that, you know, she's about to restock it. I was like, please sign me up. I wanted three of it. So I bought three of it. This should last me for a while. Um, I have one now that I'm still using. And the truth is that I don't even use this thing the way I should be using it. That's just the truth. I sometimes forget. Sometimes I'm too lazy. I use this thing like maybe, let's just say maximum twice a week, right? Maximum because some, some weeks I don't even use it at all. While some weeks I use it just once, okay? But let's just say maximum I use it once a week. It's for night use. And I have seen a lot of results on my skin. Like my skin is glowing more than normal, okay? More than usual. <laughs> you know? So if I really, really dedicate time and energy and use this thing the way I should use it, you guys are going to see a huge difference in my skin. So yeah, that was why I just ordered this three. I just told myself that, you know what? Let me just try this time and be consistent with this because it contains um, retinol, niacinamide, elascorbic, which is um, a kind of vitamin C. It also contains tranexamic, tranexamic acid and hyaluronic acid, okay? A proper blend of the, pigment, the pigmenting agents, okay? So for my pigmentation, again, I don't use it well enough. Again, I don't use... This is my neighbor's dog. Anyway, I don't use it well enough to really like say, oh, it's cleared my pigmentation and all that. Okay, my hyperpigmentation. I, I can't, I don't use it well enough to say that, but you know, I think it does clear hyperpigmentation. But I still have, like, you guys can see this here and here. And you know, my neck is a bit darker than my face, but my body is lighter than my face. Okay, so. <laughs> In order of color or whatever, of darkness to light, my neck is the darkest, followed by my face, then my body. My body is actually like at least two shades lighter than my face and my neck, okay? So I also need to use this to try and even up things. You guys cannot see it on camera, but yeah. One thing I always say is that I don't care about fair or dark. I don't care about the uh, uh, light or dark. All I care about is do you have, are you the same color from head to toe? So I'm trying to use this to try and get the same color from head to toe okay um yeah i've done i've done too much advert for these people like they should they should run me my check or just give me products i don't even need your check just send me products okay just make sure i don't i don't i don't um miss just just make sure i never lack your products right because for the longest time i couldn't get it. i didn't use it for a very very long time i think i started using this thing was it not last month that i now saw it somewhere and bought it then this my friend now told me that she's restocking on it though she, i think she's buying directly from the company because on their website you will, you will not see it or on their page maybe they've restocked now i don't know sure so she bought directly from the company and then i went to pick up three in fact when i went to pick up these three uh, one of the staff was telling me that ah that she had a customer that she wanted to sell some to that really took that she didn't know i was taking three of it i was like my dear this is skincare gold okay rejuva run me my check because i know how many people have asked me about rejuva like i it's not it's not even a small number like so many people have asked me about rejuva and i just keep telling them go to their website and check i don't know how else to get the products but if you're in portal court even if you're not in portal court and you want to buy this rejuva then contact dream day spa and just let her know i'm sure she'll be able to get it across to you because i'm sure she buys bulk from the company and you might not be able to buy just that kind of bulk from the company so Whenever she's buying or if she has in stock, she will just sell to you. But yeah, my face is a bit tingling. It's tingling a bit because of the stuff. It looks it looks like I don't I'm afraid to even touch my face. It looks like mosquito bite somehow. It's even the swelling is going down. She just told me to use hydrocortisone cream and a very mild face wash to wash my face in the night, then you know, in the morning again. So once at night. I didn't even buy the hydrocortisone cream anyway. I'll go and buy it now. I just came back home now and everybody's sleeping. My plan was to come back home, bring out the cake and celebrate my my father. But everybody's sleeping. So I have to wait. When everybody wakes up, maybe in the evening, the sun would have been down. Then we'll cut his cake and just sing for him and all of that. But yeah, since they're sleeping now, let me follow them and sleep my own too. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Shema 